What's up guys, Dash here, and today I'm going to be reviewing Avengers Endgame. But first, let's rewind a little. The ending of Avengers Infinity War was the most shocking thing to come out of blockbuster cinema since Darth Vader announced himself as Luke Skywalker's father in 1980. No! Think about it, despite our hero's efforts, Despite punching and fighting and kicking and clawing, the bad guy won. Thanos acquired all six Infinity Stones, snapped his fingers, wiping out 50% of all living creatures across the universe. We were heartbroken, distraught, enraged. And so here we are. This is it. 10 to 11 years of long form storytelling the 22nd entry into the Marvel Cinematic Universe, the final chapter of what is now being called the Infinity Saga, Avengers Endgame. The Russo brothers once again put on a directorial clinic whose tone is perfectly balanced from scene to scene to scene. This is a blockbuster movie that is fun and spectacular, but it's also layered and dense, consequential and emotionally harrowing. Endgame is a slow burn filled with loads of smaller, talking moments. Scenes that are quiet, scenes where characters are just being, and these moments are some of the best smaller moments the MCU has to offer. We are given the time and space to actually feel the depressing aftermath of Thanos' actions. Captain America conducts AA meetings to help people cope with their losses. Hawkeye has gone from a hero to a vigilante with a thirst for blood, taking down Mexican drug cartels and the Japanese Yakuza. Black Widow, on the other hand, manages the remaining Avengers, sending them on pointless patrol, trying to give her life some meaning, desperately clinging on to the past. When she's alone, she cries to herself quietly. And if you're wondering about Thanos, well, unlike Infinity War, the focus of this movie is not Thanos. Thanos' presence is constantly felt throughout the movie, but where in Infinity War it was squarely his story, he was the main character, in Avengers Endgame, the focus is removed from Thanos and put on the Avengers, mainly the original Avengers from 2012. Thanos' presence is felt throughout the movie, but this is the Avengers story. In interviews, the Russo brothers have referred to Avengers Endgame as a time travel heist film. And it is. This film does have time travel in it, as well as heist in the form of small-scale, fun action blocks. But more than a time travel heist film, this is a time travel film about self-discovery. It explores lessons and regrets and reflects on the beautiful journey that this has been thus far. All these character arcs interlock, brew and build and climb dramatically upwards to a rousing and magnificent crescendo that had the whole cinema cheering their hearts out. Heroes pair off in ways comic book and comic book movie fans have been waiting for all their lives. There is a holy shit moment that will make boys and men cheer but girls and ladies weep with absolute joy. It's a quick scene but a cool one that's going to change the lives of little girls all over the world. But the wonderfully choreographed action sequence isn't just rousing and fun, it isn't just spectacular. It's filled with dramatic tension, every punch feels weighted and purposeful and important. Your heart is racing because you're legitimately worried about every single one of those characters. Sure, the film does have some flaws. Outside of Ludwig Göransson's musical score in Black Panther, the musical score in the Marvel Cinematic Universe has never really been inspiring. The same can be said about Avengers Endgame. Alan Silvestri's score is fine and it does serve its purpose, but it's not unique, nor is it very memorable. And the climatic battle sequence, while awesome, while absolutely spectacular, 
could have been and maybe should have been at least another 5 to 10 minutes longer. Also, there are noticeable plot holes when it comes to the time travelling aspect of the story as you'd come to expect from these type of time travelling fantasy films. Having said that, as a whole, Avengers Endgame is everything you'd hope to get from a blockbuster film. It is dense, it is emotional, it is character driven, it is smart and the conflict builds and escalates and builds and escalates until it explodes in an amazing, amazing action sequence right at the end that will blow your freaking mind. And if you're wondering what next, it has been 10 years and 22 films, so what next? Well, part of the journey is the end. And while the Marvel Cinematic Universe has more films to come, Avengers Endgame truly does feel like an end of an era.